Welcome back, my friends, to The Chosen's Harmony of the Gospels. We're on day six. Jesus returns to Galilee. Day six. Jesus returns to Galilee. After two days, he left there for Galilee. Jesus himself had testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. When they entered Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him because they had seen everything he did in Jerusalem during the festival, for they also had gone to the festival. From then on, Jesus began to preach, proclaiming the good news of God. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. News about him spread throughout the entire vicinity. He was teaching in their synagogues, being praised by everyone. Jesus heals an official son. He went again to Cana of Galilee, where he turned the water into wine. There was a certain royal official whose son was ill at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had come from Judea into Galilee, he went to him and pleaded with him to come down and heal his son, since he was about to die. Jesus told him, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Sir, the official said to him, come down before my boy dies. Go, Jesus told him, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and departed. While he was still going down, his servants met him saying that the boy was alive. He asked them at what time he got better. Yesterday, at one in the afternoon, the fever left him, they answered. The father realized that was the very hour at which Jesus had told him, your son will live. So he himself believed, along with his whole household. Now this is also the second sign Jesus performed after he came from Judea to Galilee. That first part where Jesus came back to Galilee and he was preaching, repent, the same thing John the Baptist had been preaching for years before him, right? And the people needed to know that the time is now. And my friends, the time is now for you. I mean, we don't know what tomorrow's gonna hold for us. I could be walking tomorrow, getting my 12,000 steps in and get hit by a car. Who knows, right? So I hope that you have put your faith in Jesus and that you know today is the day that we all need to repent and to believe that Jesus truly is the Son of God. Yes, he is. <laughs> And then the story about the official son, don't you just love that? I do. I mean, he just believed. And you know, he wasn't a Jewish person. If he's an official, then he's gonna be a Roman person. And he still had the faith because he had seen Jesus. He had probably heard him preach at different times and he just believed. And so he said, if you just say it, that my son will be healed. And then when the servants came to tell him what time his son had been healed, it was the exact same hour. So I know that built a lot of faith in him and I'm sure a lot of people around him as well. So I hope today that you have the faith that Jesus may or may not heal you if you have an affliction or a disease, but we do need to be asking and asking in faith because we never know. Remember, he always answers three ways, yes, no, and wait. And so let's just be bold today to ask him and to believe, just like the official was very bold and he believed. Have a great day believing in God and repenting if you haven't done that yet and turn your life around to Jesus. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. You can get your own copy of A Blended Harmony of the Gospels by The Chosen simply by going to thechosengifts.com. There you can find all kinds of wonderful merchandise to help build your faith this year. Be sure to check out their devotionals and their Bible studies. Have a blessed day.